Hey guys, this is Captain Rex, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to continue on building Stepular World, and we are doing the Toy Town Toy Shop today. We've got a new helper joining us, which is Bass LD, so give him a welcome down in the comments. Uh, he's going to be the new backup helper for the series. Uh, but before we head over to the Toy Shop, uh, I got a few minor changes to the lake from Aiden, who seems to have always a bunch of stuff to fix. So, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of give an overview of what this needs to look like. There are only a few minor, nothing too big, but, uh, anyways, if you want your lake accurate, then, uh, you feel free, or feel free to, uh, add this to your world. Um, uh, and then, okay, that's it. So, let's head over to where we're gonna build Toy Town. Uh, so I marked out where the path is gonna go, so from the pet shop, we're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And on the 12th, we're going to bring a birch in, and then this is where the uh, doorway is going to go. So we can just grab oak, and then a door. And then, of course, the top of the toy shop is a rickety old building. So we're going to need some, like, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, glass pane, torches. Okay, so on each side of the door, we're gonna build out four blocks of cobblestone, and then one block on either side, and then we're gonna have two glass panes, and then we can bring this up here, and then there's actually some cobblestone stairs underneath like this to just give it something a bit different, and then a torch there in the corner. Uh, if you wanna build that other side there, uh, you can. I, oh, I did that wrong. There's a stair under here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this the side or each side is a bit different. Like for example, that side one, the windows are broken, but I can just go back and show that. So the side we can just add this in before I forget. It says Toy Town Toy Shop, uh, just like that. And then okay, so the side, at least this left side here. We're gonna add on another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cobblestone, we can bring this up three high here. We can put a torch here as well. Um, and then we're gonna leave, how many is that? I think it's four. And then there's a little detail with the stair. So one, two, three, four. And the stair is gonna go like that, just to make it look even more unpleasant of a building uh and then we should be able to connect this up into a box so we can bring cobblestone up three high on all these sides and we got a torch here and a torch here and then we're gonna leave two blocks from this torch and i think that's a slab yeah we want a cobblestone slab so we'll leave two from here we're gonna put a slab there and then there's some oak blocks back here just to cover up the uh, redstone. Um, I'm not sure if I should add them now, but I think I will because we're probably gonna end up breaking them to uh, do the redstone, but I'll just add them in like that. Um, so yeah, over on this side, yeah, we got some details here. So there's also a stair. If we leave one block from here that needs to go in that way. And then three blocks from there. Yeah, we got that slab. Then we can extend that up. Okay, so that's the walls. Uh, for the roof, it's a pretty uh, simple roof design. We can grab some spruce planks and spruce stairs. So we're going to bring up uh, four or three rows of stairs on this side. So one, and put some planks two and then planks there three um but we're, there's a bit of an obstacle we need to go around because there is a chimney in here uh so for the chimney we want to come i think it's to the middle three uh yeah so i want to bring this up here and this is just a three by three box around this and we want to bring this up so it's this whole one two three four five six seven so two three four five six seven uh so we can do this all the way around here yeah and the stairs just continue up on either side 
and the chimney is right in the middle of those stairs but they just continue on up and then there's torches on every side here in the middle on this level uh, so yeah the or the stairs continue all the way up basically to the top uh, so I'll do some of this side uh, then I'll bring oops we started building at the same time uh, I'll do a bit more over here I'll build I'll build it up if you want to place the stairs then uh, go ahead so once we get to here there's gonna be a row of stairs that are just gonna come back in like this that's the only exception uh, with this roof so we can bring spruce planks all the way up from this side so that's basically the outside and I don't think there's any torches on the roof section there no okay so for the inside we can uh, break out all the floor and we're gonna need to replace the floor in here it's the upstairs of this shop is very small but we're gonna need to replace the floor with some oak planks um, yeah so very small space should be pretty easy to fill in and then for in here we're gonna need to touch some things up but first there's gonna be torches which are gonna go right here 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 and here yeah so the roof's gonna need to be touched up so we have this row here and then we're gonna bring stairs up here and then stairs up here and we're gonna need some cobblestone stairs because um, so what do we have here yeah we want stairs to go all on on all of these rows going up uh, including the top here uh, for this we want to leave that and then we're gonna br actually break these out these are actually stairs here and then we're gonna need to break these out these are actually stairs and then same here those are actually stairs so yeah it's a bit of a weird chimney design there um, but yeah this is actually spruce right here it, I don't know it's weird but um, I just gotta check on the inside of the chimney that there's not any other details uh, I'm just gonna head over here and check see if this is looking right okay that is okay so we can start adding some of the details inside of the shop so we're gonna need to add some chests which go around and hold like the really bad toys that like nobody will want uh yeah oh we're missing a stair okay yeah there we go there's a stair right that you wouldn't see that from the outside so that's a good catch so we're gonna put two oak fences here we're gonna need to make a glitch chest which i did not do okay there we go um and then there's some chests right here and then we leave one from this we got two fence posts with chests here if you want to start filling these up you can go ahead and do that i think they're pretty simple there's not uh, too much in there now we're going to bring a little counter out with our oak planks we're going to get a trap door some birch stairs or uh brick stairs we're going to put a brick stair like there for the counter and a trap door right there and then we come over to this we're gonna get some orange wool and a pumpkin a carved pumpkin to be exact and then this is where the secret entrance opens up to the downstairs so we're gonna put this here carved pumpkin and the lever there which is going to activate the entrance um so i'm gonna get some uh stuff to fill up this chest so we want a i think is that cooked or raw it's a raw cod we're gonna need a stone button and then a bucket I know very very nice toys definitely played with a raw cod when I was younger um, so this one's gonna go right here and up here we're gonna leave three there and then the bucket on this side is gonna go right here so uh, I think bass LD has been filling up these chests or did this one so yeah down here we want that that actually needs to be a spruce sapling that's no problem I can just switch that out really quick 
Okay, there we go. Uh, and then for this one, there's a single seed right there. And this one is going to be three coal. Uh, which I'll let uh, him handle. Um, so I'm going to break out some room to see the redstone here. Because, yeah, this is, this is some very intricate kind of redstone. No, it's not. But, uh, okay. So, uh, there's the coal right there. We can break out some of under here. So, we got some area here to work with. So, right underneath the orange wool of this, we're going to bring... One block below. We're just going to use blue wool because that's what it is on the reference. But we're going to put a redstone dust right there. Uh, and then we're going to go down with our white wool. And this, what direction is this going in? It's going... I think it's left. Yeah. Okay, we're going to come down here. One. With this, we're going to put a redstone dust there. And then we're gonna go up again. I'm gonna have to break this out. I feel, is this right? This is in the right area? Actually, no, it is not, because that, yeah, that is very wrong. Uh, let me see what I'm doing here. I don't even know. Okay, we wanna go back. Okay, that makes more sense. We're gonna head back here with it. So yeah, we have that there, and then this here, and then we're gonna bring up a uh, blue right there. We're gonna go over one with this, and then we're gonna get a sticky piston. Okay, yeah, this should work here. We're gonna get a sticky piston with that, um, like that, so that's attached. And is that it? looks like it is okay that is perfect yeah so pretty simple redstone nothing too uh technical so we're gonna have time to begin the underground so yeah we can open up the lever here and let's head down there where we're probably gonna have to break um a bunch of this i don't know how good you are with commands are you good if not i will have to attempt well, we're going to need to have, so, where this opens up here, we're going to bring blue wool around this opening, and we're going to need room for a, I think it's 12 by 32. So, the wall is going to go here. This is going to come out here. We actually have another lever which kind of reverses this process with the redstone which is going to go right there which did nothing um, okay probably didn't put that in the right spot uh, anyways I'm trying to figure this out here this redstone is really making, oh, it's got to go back. Oh, it's got to go on this block. There we go. Okay, so that makes sense. The wall actually goes back here. One block back from the opening. So, uh, we want it, so we want it 12 by 32. We want it 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks deep. Okay, I'll write that down. I forgot to do how deep. So, we're going to take our blue wool. Uh, let's just get some night vision to make this easier to see. Because it is going to be fairly dark. So, we have this lever. Uh, we can count over from this. We're going to have... Oh, this lever wants to be this way. Like that. Yes, yes. So we're gonna have 12. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
and I just realized this all has to be blue which is very nice so let's just make this blue so what I think we're gonna bring the walls all down blue and then we can add in the details after so we have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, other way we're gonna go 32 so we have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two twenty three twenty four five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty three one thirty two three four five six seven eight nine I gotta do that again Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, I think Bass is doing a slash fill, but we can make this box. Yeah, so we're just gonna uh, connect this up with our blue wool yeah when this is going to go down 10 so we're going to need two three four five six seven eight nine ten three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, looks like doing slash fill. Hopefully, it doesn't break the game. We'll see. Um, but we can fill in all the roof with blue, which is gonna be really simple to do because no digging involved for this. So yeah, let's just go back and forth here, filling this up. If you want me to do the command, I can try. Oh, looks like we got it. And that is the correct depth. Yeah, we're just gonna need to break out some for the walls, but that is a okay. Uh, so we can just fill in the roof here, which is right up against the uh, ground level. I'll let you fill that in, and uh, let's just break out some of these walls where the grass is, and we can just make a box of blue wool. And we we're gonna add the details after here, but first I just want a box room to work with. Uh, before we do uh, anything else. Okay, so let's fill this in with blue wool. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's breaking out the uh, other wall there. So another way to see if this is right, we can go on the correct Y level, it needs to be on 56. And if we wanna see if this is really right, we can go to the corner here and our coordinates are correct. So we know we're doing everything good. Just good, no errors as of yet. And we can go to the other corner. Let's just see, hopefully it'll be good. I forget what video that was where we messed up the coordinates. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we got all the right coordinates and stuff uh, for this. So, okay, I'll start replacing this wall. with our blue wool and then we're just going to need to break out the floor uh, that is going to be replaced with bricks um, so okay let's do some of this might be able to finish this in one video we'll see maybe It actually is looking like it. Uh, okay, let's fill in this. Uh, okay, I'm getting stuck. Not much headroom anymore there. Make sure you uh, fill that in with bricks. It is not blue wool. Hopefully you heard. That should be quick fix anyway if the commands loaded up. 
Okay, so let's fill in this last wall with uh, blue wool. And then we should be able to work on some of the details. So, actually, I'll wait for the floor. Uh, no, we can start some of the details over here. But anyways, there's, these are all going to be uh, white wool here as some of the clouds. Let's just grab a couple different colors of wool. Okay, there we go. We got a brick floor. That is good. Let's grab some green, and then we're going to hit some orange and white for the little landing pad. Um, and then if we come over to here, there is three white here and one right there. And then for the little green hills, we're going to come down here. We're going to put three green, so we leave two, three, and then it's gonna go up two, and then down two, and then three, and then this can just come down here. Yeah, so uh, you build in a little launch pad there, which I will I put the little water bucket. We want some water streaming down from uh, right here, and that streams down into that. It lands right there, and then that is how big it needs to be. And we can just fill that in with water. Okay, so where we have this green bit, we can uh, break out under here and fill it in with green. Uh, I'll, do, I'll go around and do kind of all the green bits if you want to fill it in underneath. Um, so for the next one, we're going to go down one here. We're going to place one there. It's going to go down one again. And then again, like that. And then it's going to go up for one, two, three, four. Uh, and then it's going to go up for three. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Oh, and I'm missing some clouds. I want to come back to where we had the four. We're going to leave three. And then cloud right here. And it's just going to be in this shape. Um, and then this one over here. We're going to have three. And then two like that. Uh, and then we can go back down one two three four and then we're gonna go down two and then the next one's gonna be down a total of five two three four five we're gonna go up two 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 so that's where all the green kind of land hills whatever you want to call it goes there uh, we're gonna leave two from here. There's a little like right angle shaped cloud there We're gonna leave five here and then there's another one like that right there. So that's all that wall done uh, So over here There's a green here Here and then here so uh, like three diagonals. We can't really see the rest so we can just bring it down to there because block by the little exit um, and then we got another cloud which if we go up here this is three blocks away from here we're gonna go one two three and then one and then we're gonna need some stuff to represent the Sun the Sun is I think it's yellow and then some glowstone which we can put over here in the corner so we're gonna make a little three by three a uh, box with our yellow and then a glowstone right there and then for the final side uh, We want to come down four blocks from the Sun three four and Then we're gonna put one there and then this just goes down three like that and then we're gonna have two and then two and then three and then three and then three down, and then we're gonna have four, four like that, and then you can't really see the rest. So we'll just leave it at that for now, because obviously we'll be building all the little buildings in here. Uh, so we're gonna leave three, and then we're gonna put two, and then three for the clouds. Um, and then we can leave six from this cloud one two three four five six and then we can put this one in here there's three and then two 
Uh, and then right below this, we can leave one and put a green there. And then three here like that. Uh, we can just fill in green under here. It doesn't really matter though. Most of it is blocked. But uh, we can just add that. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to finish this off in the next video. But we got quite a bit done today. Like We got the whole room downstairs here. Of course, we got the uh, upstairs and the redstone is working. Uh, let me see. Yep, it is still working, which is good. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, anyways, thank you, Bass LD, for joining me. And uh, I hope your first video was a help. It wasn't too overwhelming. But uh, anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, Bass LD. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.